hello you guys it's dennis here again with photoshop so today we have something special we want to look at in photoshop and it's going to be a flyer design for a beauty pageant so the purpose of this tutorial is to help you get better at designing with photoshop and this is the design on the screen we want to look at and these are the resources i'll be using and i'll be doing this tutorial with photoshop cc 2021 yes we'll be upgrading very soon okay let's keep on using cc 2021 okay so with that said you open up photoshop and once you open up photoshop uh, this is not the first screen you see because i've already opened up my design but if you are at photoshop you're in photoshop and the workspace may look confusing but don't be confused okay you can come to windows you come to workspace and you come to reset essentials that's if you are at essentials default okay then you can set your workspace like this and why i like keeping my layers around here so i can see everything here you know this space is too small for my layers to be there so i bring out my layers panel to this other side okay that looks cool and very nice good so um with this we are going to start the design i'm going to click on file and click on new and once you do that it brings up this dialog box which pops up just like this and the dialog box will help us to create the canvas we want to work on okay so you come to where you have your preset details and when you have your preset details you can see where you have the file name so you can set your file name there uh, whatever you want how you want it to be and next thing you want to do is to come down to where you have your unit you can change it to pixels good and set your width to 2000 and set your height to 2000 as well and once you get that done make sure your resolution is at 300 yes it's okay if your resolution is at 300 but 300 pixels per inch is best if you are going to print the design you're about to do but if it's not just print it's something that i want to end online 150 pixels per inch is still okay but personally being that i'm someone that loves quality all the way i prefer designing with 300 pixels per inch okay then we come to where we have our color mode rgb color it's perfect okay you can leave every other thing at default and click on create so once you do that it opens up this canvas where we are going to design on and the next thing we're going to do is to unlock our background okay so you come to where you have your background layer and click on the lock icon and it unlocks the background just like that so next thing you're going to do is to come down to where you have your add layer style you click on that and click on gradient overlay and once you click on gradient overlay it brings up this dialog box so the dialog box has the gradient i want to use already okay so let's see the gradient so you can pick the color code so this is the color code you are going to type in the okay that's the color code c60 ad7 cool and once you type in that color code you hit on ok you get this gradient okay so this is the other side of the gradient something like this and same thing here you see three six zero four five b and it gives you the exact gradient you hit on ok uh hit on ok again and with that it's perfect it's on ok so once you are done with that we're going to bring in the pictures because these are all the resources we are going to use i'm going to bring in this particular stage podium white lightning stage okay so i'll bring in the image and real quick i'm going to link up all these resources in the description so you can get it and download it for your own use and that would be nice and if you are here for the first time this is the next creatives and we create tutorials okay around graphic design and we also give business tips as well so if you're looking up to leveling up your skill you want to level up your skill as a graphic designer then consider subscribing and make sure you leave a like on this video and share it with a friend who is interested in learning graphic design as well so i'm going to drag and drop this background in photoshop okay so when i drop that in photoshop next thing i'm going to do is to drag the background to this other side 
of the design because that is where i'm going to place my image okay so i'm going to place this around here and hit on okay and next thing i'm going to do is to set my blending mode to screen now this is what blending mode does okay blending mode is a function is a is a is a command in photoshop should i call it a command yes it helps you to blend background particular layer with another layer in photoshop okay so it's an effect that you use to blend a particular layer with another layer so we have this layer number one here that it's on top of another layer and we want to blend the two layers together so it looks like they're all working together in harmony so all i'm going to do is to go to where i have my blending options and you move down to where you have your screen okay screen so you can see how the layer blends with the previous layer the layer below okay so screen helps you to uh it screen brings out the brighter parts of your background and hides the darker parts of your background okay so you hit on screen and once you set that to screen this is exactly what you get so next thing we are going to do is to brush this sharp edge and to do that we're going to add a layer max okay so what the max does is black height and white review so you can add the positive and negative layer max so for this one i'm going to uh click on my layer max just down here you can see where you have your layer max so you hit on that and when you hit on your layer max it brings up this white stuff so what is telling you white reveals okay so white is actually revealing the image and when we start painting with a black brush okay it hides the sharper part okay so i'm going to hit on my brush tool and make sure you set your brush this way make sure you set your hardness to zero and your brush size you can easily alter it with if your brush size is not showing hit on your cap locks and off it that if your cap locks were was on off it okay and then you can see how large your brush is then you can use your left your left square bracket or right square bracket your left square bracket helps you reduce your brush size while your right square bracket helps you to increase the brush size okay so with that we're going to uh set our foreground to black okay if your foreground was not set to black simply hit on d to make everything black and white so you make your foreground your background to become black and white when you hit on d then x will help you swap the colors either your foreground become black or your background become white just like what you want so we want uh foreground to become black just like what you see there you can see our foreground is black then once you set your foreground to black you can paint around here you can see so when we start painting with a black brush it hides the sharper parts okay because black hides and white reveals so if we should change our foreground to white and paint on that aspect again you can see it becomes revealed okay so white reveals black height so make it black again and begin to hide that part that is showing up just like that so once you get that done you are perfect and good to go yeah you are perfect and good to go so next thing is to go back to where we have our move to so you click on your move to and then we're going to bring in uh our model picture this is the model we're going to be using bring it to photoshop drop it there and then we're going to resize this model to fit exactly what we want i think this size is perfect yeah just drop it around there and reduce the size of the model just like that and hit on okay so once you place your model just like that we're going to do the same stuff we did again to hide some parts of this image remember black height white reveals even if you did not learn anything from this video just learn that black height and white reveals okay so next thing we're going to do is to hit on uh max okay Le add layer max and when you add that click on your brush again your brush size can be altered with your left square bracket and right square bracket so you can increase or reduce the size then make sure your foreground is set to black again and start painting around this edge just like that paint around that okay so you can set to white when you set to white you can take off this other side brush this other side set to black again with your help of x okay so x helps you to uh toggle around black and white okay so when you done with that hit on your move to and that's it so you click on your image again and we want to blend this image with our background okay so what we're going to do is we're going to 
press Ctrl B. So Ctrl B helps us to um, uh, balance our colors. That's a shortcut for color balance. So if if you're using a Mac, you can click on Command B. If you're using uh, Windows, just like mine, you're going to use Control B. Okay. So we can't add that effect because our uh, our layer is not rasterized. It, it's a it's a smart layer. So you right click on that and rasterize. So we can add that effect. And real quick, if you don't know how I managed to take off this background, I'm going to leave a link in the description that will teach you how to take off or cut out background on any photo. Okay, even photos that has hairs just like this one. Okay, so that's it. And I'm going to leave the links in the description. Or uh, and that will be perfect. Okay, so once that is done, you can now hit on Control or Command, Control or Command B. And then you begin to toggle around and give it more of magenta okay just give it more of magenta just like that and hit on okay so that's it and you can see it matches but uh we can still alter that okay and to alter that again is for us to add an adjustment layer and give it hue or saturation so when you give it a hue or saturation layer and then we don't want this uh adjustment to affect every other uh layer if we should adjust anything here you can observe it affects even our backgrounds okay so we don't want that to happen and for that we want that effect to affect only the image so we are going to hold alt or option if you're using a mark and clip that adjustment to just this image at the top okay let me show you what that means so if i right click the the shortcut is for you to hold alt or option and you see this icon change this way let me zoom in there okay you can see the the icon change and you clip that when you hold alt and if you hold alt again you can take it off okay or you right click and go to where you have create clipping marks so when you create clipping marks it's still the same thing so whatever you do at this point it affects the whole layers okay so i'm going to hold on my hue and try to get that same color you can see it colorizes the image and makes it look like the background itself so with that i think we are good to go okay next on our list is to bring in the text okay so without the text on this design this design is useless the text now so you hit on t which is the shortcut to your text tool and type the following i'm going to be very fast when typing this so this video won't get boring so there yeah, this is it are you ready to be the first ever i'm going to highlight all ctrl a to highlight all and give it a white color and then the font we're going to be using here will be folk law okay i'm going to zoom in there so you can see the font folk law that's it okay you hit on that and when you hit on folk law this is how it looks like okay so you can um align that to the left just like that very cool and then you're going to highlight iu and give it lato okay i'm using lato and it's going to be lato black okay so hit on lato black to get that okay just like that uh yeah that's lato okay um then we're going to increase ready so highlight ready and just bring your cursor around here and when you bring your cursor around here increase the size a little let's say something that makes it balance just like that oh that's too much so you can just increase a little and uh, click on the um the point and use your mouse if you're using mouse reduce the size such that it aligns with this okay so if it's too close to iu you're going to uh, uh click on where you have your character panel then you're going to click on where you have your leading okay so you set your leading just like that and when you say to your leading that way it separates the ready from are you a little so you highlight um to be there 
and give it lato as well and it's going to be reduced okay you're going to make it lato black perfect reduce the font size as well perfect then first ever then we're going to highlight first ever and increase the font size hmm that's too large can reduce that reduce again it's too small as well just increase the size such that it's balanced perfect and then you're leading to separate it a little so once you get this type of arrangement you are perfect and good to go yeah you are perfect you are good to go and make sure you leave a like on this video if this video is interesting you are learning a lot i are beginning to design with photoshop Make sure you leave a like and share this video with a friend and don't forget to subscribe it means a lot to us okay so you take this up and place it around here and press ctrl t and when you do that increase the size mm. there's no much contrast there but we are going to work on that later cool and hit on okay and once you're done with that next thing you are going to do is to uh, we want to create much contrast here and what do we do because the background is competing with the text the text is not so visible so what we're going to do is to come down to where we have the background that has this stage okay so you come to that layer and you click on your plus icon to add a new layer okay create a new layer and once you do that you can see you have a new layer here then we're going to click on our brush very good okay, this is our brush yeah this is our brush hold alt when you hold alt you pick any random color i'm going to pick this part of the purple and then i'm going to splash it around here so you splash the color around there okay just splash perfect so when you splash that color there it makes uh are you ready to be the first ever to you know pop up and stand out perfect so we, we still have a lot to do around there click on your move tool once you're done with that and uh next thing you're going to do is to Oh, we're going to rasterize this and you only do this when you are very very sure that your text is correct but if you're not so sure that your text is correct and you feel you can still make changes later you can duplicate the layer by pressing ctrl j and when you duplicate the layer you can hide this other layer by click on on the eye icon okay so you simply click on this eye icon So when you click on the eye icon it hides the other layer and then you're going to click on uh, the top layer and rasterize that so you can just click on rasterize type and when you rasterize type you can press ctrl t that's because we want to transform okay so we can't transform this layer freely if we do not rasterize same thing to every other layer if it's not rasterized you can't transform them freely just like the way i want to transform so you hold control and hold on this aspect and create this perspective effect just like that you get you get yeah you're beginning to get what i'm trying to do you create this effect perfect so once you get this done you hit on okay so you're going to place this around here are you ready to be the first ever perfect Take it up a little that's cool so let's take a look at our previous design you know we have done this design already on our space and deliver so this one is just it's the real aspect of it so i'm going to shift this girl a little and bring this guy closer and this background can come closer as well okay so you get what we want so that's it and then we're going to click on our main design let's see how it looks like wow okay cool we still have a lot to do so we can get something that looks like this so let's go back to our own design so you can still transform again transform but then whenever you are transforming and creating this perspective make sure you do it in such a way that your text is still readable not such that after transforming and making the perspective some text will not be readable just don't overdo things okay don't overdo Put that down if you have your pen and just have it you can write that down don't overdo everything yeah oh um, yeah okay so next thing we're going to do is to add a glow effect yes i'm going to add some glow here and 
to add your glow effects go down to where you have your add layer style and then you click on outer glow and when you click on outer glow wow you get this dialog box that pops up and you can see your glow around here let me zoom in control plus icon can help you zoom in then let's see how it looks like so we're going to uh increase our size and reduce our spray okay so your size should be larger than your spray and then your opacity should uh be set to let's say 41 and your color should be white spread should be zero size should be 76 pixels so once you get that you can hit on okay let's see how it looks like are you ready to be the first ever perfect if you get this yeah getting better trust me you'll be designing with photoshop as a pro so if you're scared of photoshop guy level up your game don't be scared of photoshop it's actually very very simple so next we're going to type here is going to be face off okay so you hit on your text tool and click on that then you're going to type um face off so we're going to make face off very large ctrl t to transform and hold alt and increase the size just like that and place it around here perfect at the center so make sure you're at the center of the design and hit on okay so once you are there you hit on okay and we're going to bring in this background which will be placing inside the face off so you click and drag and bring it to where you have your photoshop and place it just right there and next thing you need to do is to hold alt remember i told you how to clip objects so if you want to place this inside um your text hold alt and click and it goes inside the text yeah you can see what we get and next thing we're going to do is to give it a shadow so you click on face off which is the layer that contains the text okay hit on your layer style and drop shadow so when you drop this shadow this is what we get okay you don't have to edit the shadow much because we still have more to do right there hit on okay so we're going to add the same glow effect we gave to uh the text right here click on that and give it outer glow and when you give it this outer glow this time around we're going to make this glow effect yellow okay so give it a yellow color just like that okay and then you can going to increase your opacity okay increase your opacity and reduce your size so we get something that looks like that so uh yeah that's cool and very very nice so your spread should be zero your size should be um 46 your opacity should be 63 then this color should be uh we need a, a lighter yellow just like that so you have this color code just right here okay so this is the color code f f f that's triple f triple zero f f f zero 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 triple f triple zero to get this yellow hit on okay and then hit on okay again but let's adjust our shadow so our um effects can pop out very well so we need more black okay so you make your opacity to be 100 for the shadows make sure you click on the drop shadow here and then increase the size of the shadow a little just like that and your spread should be reduced okay increase your spread a little okay let's just say your distance should be six your spread should be 15 your size should be 68 yeah opacity 100 so let's see what it looks like oh this is not really clear this is not really clear so let's find out what's wrong okay outer glow first when you double click on that effect you can reduce the opacity perfect so you can see our opacity was too much so make sure your outer glow opacity is 32. okay so we have much contrast there and that's perfect and nice then let's begin to type is um Lini's beauty skincare so okay so set that to white and then we're going to bring it to the top layer remember we did not set our text to the top layer and let's take off this clipping marks that's why our text was not showing up so uh we're going to type Lini's beauty skin care and spa that's cool and very very nice okay so um that's cool so you place that around there and you can see our design is beginning to look very good and very cool so next thing i'm going to bring this paper 
turn effect this turn paper here yeah. this tier paper turn or turn paper yeah bring it and place around here and then again to increase the size uh cool just drag it that way and let's place it around here you can drag it again place it around here just like that okay so you get something that looks like that it's perfect yeah perfect place it around there so next thing we're going to do is to bring in the remaining resources the remaining information which i'll not be typing that i'll just drag and drop yeah i'll drag and drop so i'll go to where i have my original design and then i'm going to click on this drag and drop it here perfect place it around here uh, cool yeah then i'm going to drag and drop the rest information as well our contact details perfect so this is our facebook page and our instagram page so you can just check out lenny's beauty screen here, which i'm going to put in the description very good so i'm going to click on this also and drag drop it here so let's place this here perfect and nice then on where we have register is on we're going to create a shape there so you create this shape around it yeah when you create that shape take off a stroke just like that click on your color and then give it a red color just like that and then when you zoom in you can see we have this curve you can hold that curve and give it a curve just like that and then you're going to press ctrl left square bracket to send that layer backwards so it can bring out the registration is on and tag a friend so that's perfect so bring this contact right here ctrl t and reduce the size a little okay so it won't be too large so we also have a lot of space around our design okay so you place it on this other side so with this we are going to go let's just finalize the rest with this my magic effects okay so to do that you're going to create a new layer at the top and when you create that layer click on your brush make sure your brush is set and when your brush is set you're going to give it uh, this yellow color want to give it this yellow color change your uh, blending option to uh, linear dodge okay so make sure it's a deep yellow okay the deeper the yellow color the better then you reduce your brush size okay when you splash that you see what it looks like it's too much okay so i'm going to reduce my brush size and i'm going to splash it around here uh good let's reduce the yellow color a little good 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 uh okay so um you're going to splash it here and then you're going to splash it here again and then splash it here again so you see we are just splashing it around to make our design pop okay you just want to make this design pop so once that is done uh, next thing you are going to do is to highlight all the layers and then you're going to give it a uh, camera raw filter so to add the camera raw effect okay we're going to click on the first layer and hold shift and click on the last layer down here and press ctrl j so when you press ctrl j you duplicate all the layers just like that and press ctrl e to merge all the layers so after merging all the layers it can it falls under this particular layer here. then you're going to click on image click on trim and then you click on you see it trims away top bottom left and right and it's on okay so to apply the camera raw effect i have a lot of presets i've set like i personally made those presets if you like them i'm going to put it in a pack and let you know how to get it so let me know down in the comments if you like to get my camera raw presets okay i've said this in my previous tutorial and i still like to know if more people are interested to get the camera raw presets and if you're interested let me know I'm going to give you a link where you're going to sign up and get it okay and that'll be nice so i'll click on filter and go to my camera raw filter and when i click on camera raw filter it opens up a dialog box which i'm waiting for yes this is the dialog box and then i'm going to click on my presets i'll go down 
to i have a lot of them here i created them myself so i'll choose the best i'll be using altar for this one click on altar hit on okay so i named most of this camera raw preset based on the name of the job i was handling at the time i created the preset okay so that's it pretty much you can see how the job pops out just like that that's cool can you comment down below and say this design is cool if it's cool thanks so much for watching and click on this video on your screen and keep watching we have a lot of tutorials and if you like to see more of my videos subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video just like this one it's dennis here see you in the next one peace